Afflicted with ALS, Kathy Jordan has advocated for medical marijuana for almost 30 years. I'm 67. I was supposed to be dead at 41. Now the group she helped found, the Cannabis Action Network, is poised to be a player in enacting voters' wishes when they approved medical marijuana last November. And I think that the decisions that are going to be made over the next 60 days are going to decide whether or not patients are going to live and be able to stay in Florida or whether they're going to have to move or die. Currently, seven growers are licensed to cultivate, distribute, and sell medical marijuana at retail. They have yet to recoup the millions they've invested as they fight off attempts to open the market. Colorado pot pioneer Michael Vischer believes the seven growers have a place going forward. So they still have a place in the marketplace and a very important big place in the marketplace. But Vischer and partners say that opening the market to more retailers will be better for customers and jobs. So you give mom and pops the ability to open up a, a store that employs five to ten people and you open up a hundred or two hundred of these businesses throughout the state, now you've created significant financial impact. And the fight isn't just over who can sell medical marijuana, but what they can sell. Most of Florida's law enforcement are opposing smokable marijuana. They also want prohibitions on candies and other edibles. But many patients feel the promise of Amendment 2 will go up in smoke if lawmakers come up with too many regulations. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.